So I don't know if I'm mad at this. I kind of understand, but Nike has broken up with Kobe. What's, What's up, up C-Squad? Squad? It's Nigel C. And Daddy C. I'm Dad and Son. Kicks and cooking. And in today's episode of What's Poppin', we're gonna get right into what's going on in the sneakerverse. So you may have already heard that Nike's deal with Kobe Bryant and his old business, that whole deal has expired. <laughs> expired and Nike has not renewed their contract with Kobe. So Vanessa Bryant, Kobe's wife, you know, they basically walked away from the table, no deal. Jeez. Essentially, I, exactly, it, it hurts my heart because Nike has been the home of Kobe for the last, I guess what, 19, 18 years? He started out initially. I'm not even that old, that's, no. how, that's how long it is. Cause you know, I look so old right now, right? But then, right. like you hear about that, that's older than me. Yeah, I think that baby mustache might be going to his head. Excuse me, this is a goatee. Goatee? Mm -hmm. You're missing the part. I got the beard and everything. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, he's miss you're missing something. I don't know about that. Maybe we'll shade it in for you for the next video. Nice. But <laughs> back to this Kobe deal, man. You know, Kobe came into the league back in whatever year that was, 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago. But he came as an Adidas athlete, the crazy eight, hmm. actually for the first two years. I didn't know that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> and then he came to Nike. So he's had this long history with Nike. Um, Vanessa Bryant, obviously his wife, after the whole death of Kobe, man, tragically in 2020, um, things, you know, they're just now not renewing that deal. There's been a lot of issues, you know, for what has been released since this whole story broke. Kobe was actually in the process of potentially starting his own sneaker brand that was owned by players. Oh. So he was talking about actually walking away from Nike oh. as of like 2019, 2020. And of course, the, the, the helicopter accident. Yeah. But um, I know he was very unsatisfied with the availability of his uh, Kobe edition sneakers. Mm -hmm. He wasn't happy that kids weren't able to get them because he's all about like the youth basketball. Right. He was so into it with his daughter. His team, right. Right, mm -hmm. his daughters, that whole, his whole Mamba Academy. Um, that he wanted to get his shoes on the feet of those kids. It's, it's for kids as they come up through the basketball ranks. Right. And you know, and since obviously the tragic passing of Kobe, the prices, the availability of the shoes have skyrocketed. Nike did the Grinch release this past Christmas. You remember that? Yeah, I remember that. That's like my holy grail of shoes. <laughs> And oh, you love that? I love that Grinch, man. It's like the, you know, the color is so unique. The Grinch is like the one of the biggest Kobe releases of all time. Mm. And it was from 2010, uh, Christmas Day. So it's a real historic shoe. But anyway, Nike released it. They were like, you know, we're going to do all of this for his fans to get their hands on some Kobe's. You know, now that he's gone, you know, Vanessa uh, Bryant was trying to work with Nike to make some things happen for availability. And then they released... I don't know anybody that, that even smelled a pair of those Jeez. Kobe Grinches. They were gone in like two seconds. Uh, and then of course, all the resellers out there, you know, StockX and Goats of the, of the world, of course, they're six that. and seven, $800. And, you know, so there's been a lot of issues there. But basically, they walked away from the table, couldn't right. come to an, a, an agreement on, mm -hmm. I guess, numbers and things like that. And I guess we'll see what's gonna come down the road. Um, hopefully it's not over, Yeah, because I can't imagine you know, just Kobe's coming out that he's not playing it, obviously. Right. But from another company, like an Adidas Kobe that gets, you know, a re-release maybe of the old, old edition mm -hmm. or something new. Who knows? So then, like, in the end, it's kind of good then because, you know, Vanessa was kind of fulfilling Kobe's wishes because Kobe, you know, he was planning on withdrawing from Nike anyway, so then it just happened now. That's a good point. Right. That's a good point. She's still, you know, just kind of working, doing right. what he wished, he, you know, he wanted to do. Which makes sense as to why, you know, you could get mad about this and understand it because like if you're you could be mad about it because right. you know you want the kobe nike shoes there it's an iconic shoe but then like you understand this is what kobe wants and just because availability and all that other stuff too all the issues understandable you know it's oh tough. speaking of shoes what, what are these doing here i just brought them out man i was talking about kobe so i wanted to bring out some kobe's just some additions. i like this cookies and cream right here yeah man what's it's, this called that's uh i mean these were actually some nike ids mm -hmm. oh you made them yourself yeah oh that's tough but i kind of made them off of because this is a kobe 10 yeah. there was a kobe 9 called the beethoven that had the same colorway with the fly knit hmm. so i built the 10 at the time and the id off of that that same look right that's tough the oreo kind of cookies and cream does have that look um but yeah that's a kobe 10 
worn, of course, yeah, because I like to wear my Kobe's. And these you you love to wear. You wear these about every single day. Not every <laughs> single day. They're comfortable. Other day. And these are Kobe Elevens. <laughs> these were again another pair of IDs, but the fly knit came out with the black. You know, you could add in the different colors. I went with the black and gold accents on the back. I like them. Just love those, man. I got some, you know, we got some, of course. Some more Kobe's. The Mamba <laughs> Curio. Oh yeah, so here's, the, here's why you did this, right? So Kobe was a very big fan of soccer, even though he was an NBA basketball player. So one of the most, you know, one of the best soccer teams is FC Barcelona. So. Soccer guy here. Yes, I'm the soccer guy. So Kobe made a shoe in the FC Barcelona colorway because their colors are red and blue and like the numbers on the kits are like in this yellowish orange color. You got so it. he made it look exactly like that. Swing it around. You gotta show the other side. Oh like yeah. The mm -hmm. transition and then the little emblem on the back. And right, I forgot I didn't show the red. See? Yeah. <laughs> and then these were called Lakers Purple, man. Lakers Purple. Oh yeah, I forgot. Remember? <laughs> All right, the eight and 24. Can't remember what these were called. Mm. Tell me down in the comments if you remember what these were called. But I love these because they were purple. You know, the Lakers purple with the gray and they have the icy sole mm -hmm. that then starts to yellow once you start wearing them. But also I love them because they had the eight and the 24 on the rear of the shoe, mm -hmm. right? Both of Kobe's numbers. So i um, been a Kobe fan for a long time. Probably once they brought the fly net, I wasn't a huge fan of like the sixes and sevens back in the day. So listen to this. Let me tell you how much things have changed over the years. Okay. When I bought these, mm -hmm. I walked into Foot Locker they were on the shelf. I picked them up and I said, can I get these in an 11? Wow. And that was it. It wasn't sneakers app and draws and all instant sellouts and things like that. There was no reseller websites, right? To just buy up all the shoes. It's like, man, I wish we were still kind of in that era, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, I understand they want the shoes to sell, so they produce limited amounts. So they, so they don't sit. So the jury's still out on how I feel about this. I was reading like Anthony Davis of the Lakers. He said it definitely hurts. He's a Nike athlete. You know, lifetime deals aren't given to many athletes or players, especially if they don't play anymore. Except we got Michael Jordan, LeBron, LeBron James, yeah. and I think Cristiano Ronaldo. It's like they're the only three with like a lifetime yeah, that makes sense. Nike <laughs> deal. But you know, with Kobe, obviously we expected him to be here and this to be a deal to go on forever. You know, players are in the league are wearing his shoes like crazy still, and they did when he was playing. So mm -hmm. we'll see. Hopefully this isn't the end of this deal. Tell us what you think down in the comments below, though, how you feel about this deal. Mm -hmm. And also, if you're liking this content and kind of our conversation, our take on it, what should they do, bud? You should click that subscribe button. That's right. And also turn on that notification bell just so you can watch these videos, you know, be the first one on. Because everybody wants to be first or everything. It's all a race, you know what I'm saying? That's right. So do that. All right, guys. Thanks for spending some time with us today. And Check we'll out some see more. Peace.